everybody. Welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion, and today I'm sharing three project ideas for some preteen room decor that kids can make with you. The first one I'm going to show you is what I'm calling Pom Pom Paint by Number. This is such a cool interactive activity where you're just working with a paper mache or a chipboard base, and we're going to create a painted background, and then the kids can use Fabric Mod Podge to attach pom-poms in any pattern that they want. We're doing a rainbow one because my girls love rainbows, but you can do rocket ships, dinosaurs. There's all different sizes and shapes of these types of blanks. You can even do wood ones too. I'm also gonna show you how you can use Fabric Mod Podge to create some really cool t-shirt art for your kids' walls. This is great if you've got old camp t-shirts or sporting t-shirts or your favorite rock band t-shirts. You can really easily, quickly turn them into some cool room decor. And my favorite project of the day is working with matte Mod Podge and napkins to create these really cool, groovy bottle lamps. My girls have some bottle lamps like this with the fairy lights in them and they absolutely love them. We did some tie-dyed napkins here and this fun patch on the front. So if you're traveling and you've got some cool patches and you don't want to sew them on, this is a really fun way that you can create some room decor really easily just using Mod Podge and some fun napkins and patches. So let's dive right into our three projects today. We're going to get started by doing our pom-pom paint by number. So for the first step for our rainbow art is that you want to start with a blank. I have a paper mache rainbow shape here. I've seen these in wood, I've seen them in chipboard, all different things. And also they have these in tons of different sizes and shapes. So if you want to do a rocket ship one, grab one of those. And we're going to create a faux paint by number that kids can do. And it was really simple to do. You can see here that I went in and I just painted a very um, simple rainbow. And I wasn't worried about it being too perfect because all of this is gonna get covered up with the pom-poms. We just wanted to make sure that the kids would have a color pattern to follow. So we used um, a, just a variety of Fulkart paints and apple barrel paints. I just used whatever colors I had on hand to match. And then in this cloudy area here, we just did some white painting there. And then at this point, you just wanna grab all of your pom-poms. You can see I've got all these bright, fun colors. And like I said at the beginning of this video, this is going to be a pom-pom paint by number. So the first step is adding that paint down so your kids have a pattern to follow. And then they're going to use Fabric Mod Podge to attach the pom-poms. And they can do it in a couple of different ways. You can take a brush and have them brush onto the section. This is really great if they wanna work on their fine motor skills. And then you would just take your pom-poms and place them right into the Fabric Mod Podge. And where you see it white, don't worry about that because that is gonna dry perfectly clear. Now, the other thing that you could do is that you could pull a little bit of the Fabric Mod Podge out onto your surface like that. And then the kids can dip their pom-pom in just like that and then place it right on to their board there, their rainbow board. Okay, let me just show you that one more time. I've got the orange one. You can just dip it in like that and then go ahead and place it right onto your board. And you are seeing that white around it, but when it dries, it will dry perfectly clear. So I'm gonna dive in and glue a bunch of these down and I'll catch you in a second. All right, last one's down. Now we're gonna do the clouds the same exact way. And again, you can either set it up where your kids can dip the pom-pom in and then place it down, or you can smear the Fabric Mod Podge all over the cloud portion. Now for the clouds, I'm using a slightly bigger pom-pom just because I wanted that extra little pop for the clouds, but look how cute it's already looking. And remember, like I said, all these places where it looks white, it's gonna dry perfectly clear, so you don't need to worry about that. So let's go ahead and get our clouds down.
All right, the last of our pom-poms down. Look at how adorable this is. Now I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. Um, but you can see how fun this is for kids to be able to, if you just paint that background or they can paint the background and then they can fill in with the pom-poms. It's kind of like paint by number, but with pom-poms. So how adorable. So look at the craft store. There's all different types of chipboard out there. I've seen dinosaurs, unicorns, all different kinds of shapes or you could cut your own shape from some recycled cardboard. So let's move on to project number two. Number two, we're gonna make some really cool light up bottle lamps using napkins. So for the bottle lamp, we're just using a few different supplies. I've got a flat bottle here, but you can use any recycled bottle that you want. Clear is gonna work best for this project because we are going to be putting in these little tiny fairy lights. So the darker the bottle is, the less light you're gonna get from it. I'm using matte Mod Podge today, but you could use satin or gloss for this project. I've got these fun tie-dye napkins and this really cute patch that I'm gonna put onto the front of our lamp. So this is really cute um, decor. My girls have some bottle lamps and they love it. They love turning on these little fairy lights. So this is a really fun summer project that you can do with your kids or grandkids. So to get started, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is find the napkin of your choice. I'm using this fun tie-dyed one, but you can use any theme that matches your child's room. And you're going to separate that napkin because we're only gonna be working with the printed ply. So to separate, you literally just pull the white section of the napkin away from the printed section, just like so. And you're gonna need, um, for most bottles, two napkins for this project, one for the front and one for the back. And I've gone ahead and cut down to size one for the front. And you can see it's just a little bit bigger than the, the front of the bottle. I keep wanting to call it a vase, but I know it's a bottle. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is just apply our matte Mod Podge directly onto the bottle, just like so. and you just add it right onto the bottle and get the neck. And I like to, on the front side, go ahead and grab any of your side seams. You don't need to worry about the back yet because you're not gonna be able to do both sides, but definitely try to get that side seam so that you get a nice finished front area. There is always gonna be some section where the napkin overlaps and it's not necessarily the prettiest section, so don't worry about that. Just make sure you've got your front looking really good. There we go. Now for the next step, I like to spray my napkin with a tiny bit of water. But the trick to this is make sure you have your napkin positioned the way you wanna put it on. So for this project, I want my napkin uh, upright. The reason why I'm saying that is once you spray it with water, it's very hard to tell which side is the front or the back. So go ahead and give it a mist. This will just help with wrinkles. And that's just plain old water. Now we're gonna just lift it and place it right onto the front of our bottle lamp. Place it down just like so. And we'll use our fingers to kind of smooth that out. You are gonna get some wrinkles, so that's just the nature of the craft. And go ahead and like I said, you wanna get that side area really good. Don't worry about this, this part's gonna dry and you can uh, re-wet that and you can Mod Podge that to the back once this is dry. Go ahead and let me just give that a quick spin for you guys. So now we're at the neck and you do just have to gently with your hands kind of tap that down. I got a little tear there, but that's okay. You just go in overlap some of that. I'm going to be putting a ribbon there anyways. Go ahead and tap that down. Now when the napkin's wet, it's going to dry uh, longer. It's going to take longer to dry than if it wasn't, but it does help eliminate uh, really heavy wrinkles. And I'm not applying very much pressure at all, just a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. Now we're gonna set this aside and we will let this dry. And once this is dry, you'll be ready to do the same exact technique 
to the back of it, okay? So once this is dry fully, we'll go ahead and we'll Mod Podge this to the back and then piece together anything on the back. And then we'll be ready to decorate it. But that is the basic steps right there for putting the napkin down onto the glass. Once you have your napkin down onto the glass, then you're ready to decorate. Like I said, we're decorating with some ribbons and with this really fun patch. And then you'll be ready to add your lights and you'll just turn them on and look at how cool that is. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this really cool t-shirt art. This is so fun. If you've got um, camp shirts or school shirts or team shirts or video game shirts, whatever you have of your kids, we are gonna show you quickly how you can turn this into some wall art for a kid's room. It's very simple. Um, this one here, I did give it a light press and um, you just wanna get a canvas, just a plain old canvas. You could even recycle something from a thrift store and just kind of center it over the design, okay? And you're going to need fabric on the overhang. So let's get that into position, let's see. And that overhang is gonna wrap around to the other side. So now let's go ahead and I'm just going to free cut my shirt. And I'm leaving a nice big space along the edge there. Okay, so we've got our t-shirt cut out. And for me, I'm gonna set this aside because I know I can use that for another project. So our t-shirt is cut and ready to go. And like I said, you can do this with any kind of t-shirt. And what we're gonna do is we're going to apply the fabric Mod Podge. That's the blue label Mod Podge. So that works with fabric to fabric or fabric to other things like canvas or the uh, paper mache that we used for the rainbow earlier and we're going to apply the Fabric Mod Podge directly to our canvas. And I'm using a wider brush for this because it's just faster to get all of it down and you won't have it dry out. So let's go ahead and just put, it's thicker, Fabric Mod Podge is much thicker. Everybody always says, is my Mod Podge okay? It's so thick. It is thicker formula. And you wanna just get that applied all the way, get those edges real good, and apply that down. Really nothing to this. What's nice about using the Fabric Mod Podge is your t-shirt isn't gonna billow off of your canvas, so it'll be stuck down to the canvas nicely. And this is fun if you've got, again, camp shirts or school shirts or some band that your kid likes. This is a really fun way for them to create some personalized decorations for their space. And that's why I was thinking this summer, what, what can kids do? What can parents and grandparents and caregivers all do together to create some fun stuff for their room? I can't believe we're just getting out of school and I'm already thinking about back to school. How ridiculous is that? Okay, now we've got our canvas all covered and let's see if I can line this up good. So I'm lucky that I have a lighter color t-shirt so I can see where our design is. And you're going to just go ahead and center that down and just kind of lightly press down. Then I like to turn it and take a look really quick and see if I'm, ooh, I'm pretty good guys. <laughs> I don't know if I could do any better. So then we're gonna just smooth that out. If you were not good, if you were off center completely, you would just quickly peel it up and you could go ahead. You may have to apply a little bit more of the Fabric Mod Podge, but just a little bit. And you could just go ahead and re-lift um, it and move it over. There we go, let's get that pressed down. Now at this point, you're really ready to just go ahead and wrap those sides and those edges. And it's super simple to do. It's kind of like, um, if you're sewing, if you sew, it's kind of like doing a mitered corner. And don't worry if you have a lot of extra because you will be able to cut that away. So then what we're gonna do is take our Fabric Mod Podge and let's see, I'm gonna spin this around so you can see this corner. Go ahead and spin that. You can see it's already stuck down pretty good because I can spin it no problem. Go ahead 
ahead and add a little bit of our Fabric Mod Podge to the corner, just like so. And then let's go ahead and go up and down those sides. And it's gonna dry clear, so don't worry if it looks a little wet. Let's get that corner there. And we'll work one side at a time, okay? Just like so. And then we'll fold up your fabric. And we'll fold up this side, just like so. And then you'll go in and add a little bit more fabric Mod Podge, a little bit there, get that glued down. You're really just using the fabric Mod Podge as a glue here, just like so. And then you can fold this side up, almost like wrapping a present. Just like that. And once it's dry, I would go in and trim this away. And then you're ready to just continue doing that around all of the sides. Okay guys, it's that easy to create some wall art using old t-shirts for your kids' rooms. All right, let's give our lamp a little turn on. Oh, I love it, I love it. These are so fun to make. And the coolest thing is it's really just that napkin on there that gives it all of the color. And of course, a little bit of our matte Mod Podge. So let's quickly review what we made. We started out with our Pom Pom Paint by Number. I love this as an interactive craft. You can paint that background any color that you want and then let the kids glue on all those different Pom Poms using the Fabric Mod Podge. Of course, you could use gems or uh, painted spaghetti noodles or, or um, bow tie noodles any of those types of things too so you can really get creative with this idea of a paint by number using the fabric mod podge and then let's not forget about our really cool t-shirt art this is one of my favorite projects for showcasing fun t-shirts that your kids might have collected over the summer from summer camp or sporting events really cool way to personalize their room and their space with something that they love and who needs a little light in their room. Delilah and Sophia absolutely love having these fairy lights in their room. They're perfect when they wanna just set up a little fun picnic or a little book nook kind of thing, and they just easily turn on. These faux cork lights are available at almost all the craft stores and at different home improvement stores too. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We will see you back here next week with another Make It With Mod Podge. And just to give you an update, we are um, doing premieres now on Saturdays at YouTube. So we'll be answering questions live on Saturdays at YouTube at Plaid Crafts channel. And of course, on every Thursday here at Facebook, we'll be answering any questions that you have on Make It With Mod Podge. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.